How's it going guys? JT Judgment here and welcome to yet another legend review in Ultimate Team. Today we're going to be looking at the 88 rated striker Davo Zuka guys. So we're moving swiftly through the list of legends to do a review on in Ultimate Team basically. Um, I might have said this before but I want to get to the point where I have a player review of every single legend available in Ultimate Team uh, other than Pele obviously because I can't afford him um, and neither can pretty much 99% of the people that play this game. So we're going to be we're going to be looking at Davo Zuka today. I, I think I say that name right. Uh, Zuka, Zuka. I apologize if that's been butchered. <laughs> you know it probably has been. Uh, but this guy's in-game stats and car face stats are very good. I mean, 81 pace, 83 shooting, 83 heading, and 86 dribbling. I do believe his card face stats are, well, at least the ones that you're going to be locking at. 87 ball control, 89 dribbling, 92 finishing, 89 head in accuracy, 88 on both long shots and shot power. He's got very, very good in-game stats. When you look at his in-game stats, guys, there is honestly no reds. There's one or two oranges and a couple of yellows, but there are no reds. And for a striker to have no red stats, you know you've got your hands on a fantastic player. I mean, it's a legend. You know, you, you expect to see good stats and you expect good results. Does he play that like that in-game? Let's get into the proper review, guys. So, his first plus that i got to mention is his pace. 81 pace on the card. I honestly got to say he felt faster than that, you know. I come up against a lot of Serie A teams, and this guy outpaced, with ease I might mention, Abate, Ogbonna, Casares, Chiellini, Benetia. The list goes on and on. He outpaced a hell of a lot of players that not only have a shit ton of more pace than him, but... He just, he just outpaced them with ease, you know, and it really did, it shocked me, you know, it made my jaw hit the floor how fast this guy could be, uh, so I got to agree with that pace that and say he honestly feels a bit quicker, um, dribbling and ball control with him is absolutely fantastic as well, 86 dribbling on the card I got to agree with, just moving in and out of defenders with ease was a pleasure with this guy, um, he's amazing in the air, now I was surprised by this, I honestly didn't think he would be that good in the air because I think he's only five foot ten, five foot eleven tall. Please do correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, he's he's got eighty three heading on the card, so I didn't expect too much. But Christ, this guy is good in the air. He honestly felt as though his heading stat was in the nineties. He really was that good. Um, and and I know that heading is overpowered in this game, but for for someone. I just want to say, for someone with an 83 head and stat, this guy completely outperformed that stat. He really was fantastic in the air. His passing is phenomenal as well. Now, if you saw at the start of the video, he scored, he, he assisted nearly as many times as he scored for me. So, for a player to do that without intending to do it, then it's phenomenal. It really was a big shock and a very, very nice surprise for me to see that. He's got four-star skills and four-star weak foot. i got to agree with one of those guys, the four-star skills. He, he's obviously got four-star skills, so people who, who like um, doing skills will like him that much more. i got to disagree, though, with his, his four-star weak foot. He really did not perform well when it came to hitting the ball with his right foot. He is left-footed, by the way, for those of you that didn't know. Um, which is why I'm using him on the right-hand side of the 4-1-2-1-2 formation. But i got to say and disagree that his right foot is absolutely terrible. He didn't... I don't think he scored one goal with his right foot, which was pretty poor. So, yeah, disagree with the four-star weak foot. His left foot is absolutely phenomenal. I scored long-range shots and anything in the box went into the back of the net. And i got to agree with his 83 shooting stat when it comes to his left foot, guys. At times, it actually felt better than that, you know? Moving on to his weaknesses, his, his weak foot, like I just said, is very, very unreliable. If you are going to use Zuka in your team, try and get him on his left foot as much as possible, unless you absolutely have to use his right foot and you have to take the chance, because it's, it's just terrible, in my opinion. And he's got high attacking and work rate and medium defensive work rate, meaning he will be out of position at times, especially if you're using him as a lone striker. He will push back a bit. Now, what i got to say about this guy is, even though he's a default striker, in my opinion, I think he would be the perfect centre-attacking midfielder or the centre, perfect centre-forward. Because from those positions, he can assist well uh, with his amazing passing, which he outperforms, I might add. He can take long shots, which, in my opinion, is one of the best parts of his game. And i got to say, yes, he's a fantastic striker that I had a lot of fun using. He's definitely worth trying out. But like I just said, try using Davo Zuka as a centre-forward or a cam. I think those are the positions that he would play best in. I've got a final score of 9.3 out of 10. 
I thought he was an absolute pleasure to use. Absolute beast in this game. Basically, guys, i got to say he's definitely worth a try if you've got the coins. So that's going to wrap up my final thoughts and review of the Legend Davos Zooka. Guys, if you did enjoy this video, I'd really appreciate a like. And also, if you hit the subscribe button today if you're new and if you haven't already. And that's going to wrap up this video, guys. So, as always from me, take care of yourselves. And I will see you all next time. Ta-da, guys.